Operation Midland was the absolute low point of many low points at Scotland Yard in recent years. The Metropolitan Police chose to ally with an obvious fantasist, Carl Beach, to destroy the lives of many innocent men on the cockamamie theory that members of the House of Lords were meeting up every other Tuesday at the Carlton Club to drink the blood of seven-year-old boys or whatever codswallop Mr Beach was minded to feed them. The Met's lies drove to their graves honourable men such as Field Marshal Lord Bramall, who gave a lifetime of service to Queen and Country, not the pseudo-service of the twerps running Scotland Yard. Harvey Proctor, former MP, was leading a quiet life and working for the Duke and Duchess of Rutland at Beaver Castle. He wound up losing his job and his home and living in a garden shed. Meanwhile, the fellow who did that to him, Met Commissioner Bernard Hogan Howe, got a knighthood and a peerage and is now about to become head of the National Crime Agency. Uh, we have asked uh, Hogan Howe and Number 10 uh, to respond to the basic facts of Harvey Proctor's letter to the PM, and they have declined to do so. So it's a pleasure to welcome back Harvey Proctor. Harvey, why is this Hogan Howe guy still in public life? Good evening. Of course, he should not be. He should have been sacked, not promoted, enriched and ennobled. He presided over Operation Midland and um, the consequences were, as you describe, for others and for myself. It is an absurdity that he should jump the appointment queue for this job and with the backing, we believe, of Number 10 Downing Street um, be the prime candidate now to go to the National Crime Agency, the kind of FBI equivalent in the United Kingdom. Of course, he's following in the footsteps of the girl commander of Operation Midland, Steve Rodhouse, who is the Deputy Director General uh, and Head of hmm. Operations at the National Crime Agency. Quite wrong. There's been some suggestion that this is just the Prime Minister rewarding chaps who served him uh, while he was Mayor of London. So in other words, it's just the usual uh, British cronyism. Is, is that how you see it? I do. I hope it is not. Uh, I wrote to the Prime Minister, I hope to get a reply. If I do not get a reply, I will seek to have a face-to-face -face meeting with the Prime Minister. Well, I hope, you, I hope you do. I cannot understand. Just to be clear about this, you know, the, the track record of Scotland Yard is not very good, but Operation Midland is worse than any of the other failures of that increasingly useless institution in that they should never have, they should have done as any rational person would have done and identified this guy Beach as, uh, as, as, as a guy who's obviously just telling them the lies they want to hear. They destroyed people's lives. Lady Britain has spoken up about this. Do you think you can get enough of a public outrage going to chase Hogan Howe back into whatever backbench obscurity he currently enjoys? Well, alas, he's currently uh, working in the um, Privy Council office, so um, he already has a sinecure in government, but he certainly should not become head of the National Crime Agency. He should have nothing to do with policing in the United Kingdom ever again. He appointed a retired High Court Judge, Sir Richard Enriquez, to look at Operation Midland, and Sir Richard found 43 or more errors mistakes that the Metropolitan Police uh, committed. Uh, Hogan Howe was sanguine about that. He did apologise to me in person, but only because Sir Richard Enriquez told him to do so. And when I had a meeting in December 2016 with uh, Sir Bernard Hogan Howe, he said that he couldn't be expected to know 
all about the investigations that are going on into what he described as VIPs. Well, this particular investigation involved a former Prime Minister, a former Home Secretary, the head of the British Armed Forces, the head of MI5 and MI6. If he didn't know, he should have got the sack for not knowing. But I believe he lied to me at that meeting that he did know, that he was briefed every day about what was happening in Operation Midland. I don't think we should have a man like that in charge of the National Crime Agency in this country. Yeah, I don't think you can overstate it, Harvey. I think when you what he did, to, as you said, Lord Bramall was former head of the British Armed Forces. He he went to his grave having had his last years ruined. The same thing for Leon Britton, uh, which is why Lady Britton is upset about it. He he, you, it's the very minimum you expect of the police that they don't. D destroy the lives of citizens without a proper uh, cause to investigate them. I have no... Why do you think he got the peerage? Why do you think he got the knighthood? These, these guys shouldn't have anything. Chubbability, I think. You're quite right. Uh, it was wrong of the Metropolitan Police to lie to a district judge to get a search warrant to search illegally the homes of Field Marshal Lord Bramall and Lady Britain's mm. two homes and my own. Quite mm. wrong. Mm. And people who presided over those illegal search warrants have no business being anywhere near government or policing in this country. Thank you for saying that. Boris Johnson thinks he's got away with cake gate or whatever it is. Uh, having done that, he, he could at least restore some integrity to the government of the United Kingdom and not promote this. And, if, and that statement of yours, that he's in the Privy Council office, he should be retired and on a Mediterranean beach right now and far away from any active role in British public life, and, this Hogan and, uh, guy. And earlier you were talking about policing in the United Kingdom. I would recommend and strongly suggest a long overdue Royal Commission on policing in this country so that we can have a full look at how policing is conducted in this country. It's not just for the likes of me, it's for the ordinary person, the man in the street, who has also been um, devastated by many police mm. forces in this country. It's time to call a halt to that and a Royal Commission would help to do so. You heard, you heard what he said, folks. I'm with you on that, Harvey. After two centuries, this is such a grotesque perversion of Sir Robert Peel's concept of the relationship between the police and the public that actually it need, British policing needs a fresh start without the Hogan House, and the, uh, 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 they should all be cleared out of the way and should have no further part in this. Thank you very much for talking uh, to us, Harvey. It's always great to see you. And